Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so everything on this page should be familiar to you because I've covered it in one recent video or another. This was covered in a video titled The Law of Quadratic Reciprocity Part 1. Uh, this guy and this guy were covered in Part 2 of The Law of Quadratic Reciprocity. And uh, these five items were covered in a video titled Properties of the Legendre Symbol and Their Proofs. So once you know everything on this page, then uh, we can finally finish the job that we started in computing 713 over 1009. We started working on it in the video about the properties of the Legendre symbol. And there we said that uh, we can use this property to get started in this fashion. But then none of the properties told us where to go from here. And so we said we're going to enlist the help of the law of quadratic reciprocity part one to help us figure out what this is and what this is. How you say? Well, let's get started uh, with 23 over 1009 and C. Now, first, to even use the law of quadratic reciprocity part one, we need both P and Q to be odd primes, which 23 and 1009 are. And then uh, we need to figure out what 23 is congruent to mod four, which is three, right? 23 is congruent to three mod four. And we need to do the same with 1009, that is figure out what it is congruent to mod 4. And 1009 is congruent to 1 mod 4. So we see that only one of these two numbers is congruent to 1 mod 4, so this part applies. That means P over Q is same as Q over P. So we go um, 23 over 1009 is the same as um, 1009 over 23. And then next, uh, we reduce 1009 mod 23 and write that this, this is the same as 20 over uh, 23. And next we can write that this is the same as 2 over 23 times 2 over 23 times 5 over 23. I just intentionally wanted to show you how a repeat application of this would look, but otherwise I really wanted to write um, 2 squared over 23 times um, over 23. Ah, I don't like, sorry, 5 over 23. And the reason why I'd much prefer this to this is because uh, with this guy, I could just uh, look here and see that this is equal to 1. Yeah, okay, cool. So then uh, we have, what we have is the same as uh, 5 over 23. And where to from here? Well, we've got an odd prime, an odd prime, so we come back to here and we ask, well, what is five can grow into uh, mod four? One, 23 still can grow into three mod four. So only one of them is can grow into uh, one mod four, namely five. Therefore, this top part still applies. And we've got um, that this is 23 over uh, 25 or 23 over five. Um, and so this is the same as reduce mod five. Um, and so 23 reduces to three uh, so we've got 3 over 5. Now, um, can grow into uh, 3 mod 4, can grow into 1 mod 4. So uh, this is the same as uh, 5 over uh, 3. Uh, reduce 5 mod 3, and we've got um, 2 over 3. Now, we know that the only quadratic residue mod 3 is 1. Therefore, 2 is a non-residue. Therefore, this is going to equal negative 1, right? Um, okay, cool. So negative 1. And so I've got a negative one right there. Yeah? All right. So uh, one half done. Um, let's go to the other half. Okay. Now uh, we're going to similarly work out um, uh, 31 over 1009. So no real surprises. Uh, but towards the end, there is something that's kind of like nice. Um, breath of fresh air so you'll see okay first uh, 31 is can grow into 3 mod 4 and 1009 still can grow into 1 mod 4 so this is same as 1009 uh, over 31 and next we reduce 1009 uh, mod 31 and it's going to reduce to uh, 17 so we've got 17 over 31 this is can grow into 1 mod 4 this is can grow into uh, 3 mod 4 so we've got that this is the same as 31 over 17. Reduce uh, 31 uh, mod 17, and we're going to be able to write um, what's 31 mod 17? 14. So 14 over 17. 
Now, 14 over 17, we can write as uh, 2 over 17 um, and then times, um, times uh, 7 over 17, right? Now, uh, from the video where we work, worked on 2 over P, we know that uh, 2 is a quadratic residue mod 17. We know that because um, we said 6 squared, which is equal to 36, is congruent to uh, 2 mod 17. Therefore, this is going to be 1, right? Because 2 is a quadratic residue mod 17. So uh, we've got 1 times 7 over 17, so just 7 over 17. Ah, sorry, 7 over 17. So 7 over 17. And here, uh, this is congruent to 3 mod 4. This is congruent to 1 mod 4. So we know that this is the same as 17 over 7. Uh, and then next, we reduce 17 um, mod 7, and we see that it's the same as uh, 3 over 7. Writing 17 over 7 is the same as 3 over 7. And finally, and here is the breath of fresh air, uh, this is congruent to 3 mod 4, and this is congruent to 3 mod 4. So finally, we get to use this part. And so we're going to write that this is the same as negative uh, 7 over 3. And um, we can reduce uh, 7 mod 3 and write that what we have is negative 1 over 3. And then finally, this here, uh, we look up here and see that it's equal to 1. So we've got uh, that this is negative 1, right? Okay, so this is negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So uh, 713 over 1009 is positive 1, meaning 713 is a quadratic residue mod 1009, yeah? Okay, cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed this, and there will be two more examples, so keep watching. Take care.